Hey Robot Makers, do you want to know how to start a Python program automatically at startup on a Raspberry Pi? Then let's take a closer look. So I'm over here in one of my Raspberry Pis and I've got a Python script that I want to run whenever the Raspberry Pi starts up or if the script has any kind of problems and the script crashes I want it to automatically restart and sort of self heal so let's have a look how we can do that now I'm going to run the Python script and show you what it actually does and then we can see you know, when it's running automatically and we can test out a few scenarios so the Python script that I'm going to run is called get subs and what get subs does is it connects to the YouTube API it gets my current subscriber count I think it rounds it up uh, and then it passes it back to me and I have to be careful not to do more than 10,000 of these requests per day otherwise it'll kick me out so what I've done in this particular script is it will get the YouTube subscriber count every half an hour but it will actually broadcast every two seconds to my MQTT service so that I can then grab that and do some things with it in node red so there we go we can see subscriber count we've got is 6760 and if I head over to uh, Chrome where I've got my MQTT broker publishing to node red so I can see here I've got a subscriber and I'm just echoing out any of the messages there so if I just delete this you'll see the messages coming through on this subscriber topic and it's 6760 which is the current subscriber count rounded up so that's the script running so if i go back over to uh, the raspberry pi and just do control c and stop it we'll also see that their messages stop coming through on the broker we no longer get any messages coming through so if i delete those we're not getting any new ones coming through okay so what we need to do to create a service is very straightforward we need to create a file and it has to be in a specific folder so let's do that first so sudo and then it's slash lib slash system d system d is the name of the thing that runs all the processes in the background and a process in the background or a service is simply a user program that doesn't have any user interaction it just runs in the background and then in the systems folder we're going to create a new file that we're going to call youtube underscore counter dot service and the dot service tells systemd that this is a service that it wants to run and of course i need to type the word nano in front of that to create the text file so sudo nano and then slash lib slash systemd slash system slash youtube underscore counter dot service that's the name of the service i'm going to create Right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new heading with a capital U and it's unit. That tells the system D that this is a unit and we're going to this give this a description and the description is going to be YouTube and this can be free text, uh, YouTube subscriber count. So we then say when this runs after, so this runs after the multi-user, multi-user.target and that's another service that runs at startup and we want this to run after that. You don't have to worry about this, you can just create the same thing and it'll work for you. So if you wanted to know more about that, you can look into it. The next heading we need to create it's called service with a capital S and what we need to do now is just define what the type is and it's a simple very simple service the exec start so the exec start is the path to the executable or the script that's going to run and it needs to know how to run that so exec start equals and in my case it's user slash bin slash python and then slash the path to the actual script home slash kev slash subscriber count which is the folder that it's in and then get underscore subs.py is the name of the python file subs.py that's worth noting here if you have a virtual environment for your python files instead of doing slash user slash bin slash python put the full path in to the virtual environment so if this was in um, slash home slash kev slash subscribe account and then slash vnv for the virtual environment slash bin slash python that's what you would then run and then you would then put your name of your file after that what i've done in this case though is i've made sure all the packages and things that are needed for this particular thing so the google api Python client and also the MQTT library paho.mqtt they're all installed and the sudo user can get access to them so they all work without any other interaction they're the things that we need to type in there and then we can then put the restart command what we're telling system d is if there's a problem with the script and we need to restart this what should it do should it restart it should it just leave it off uh, and what i want it to do is on abort i want it to restart so if i just type in on abort then it will restart this service and that means it will self-heal if for example the mqtt server gets rebooted midway through and my script can't connect to it and just fails then this will pick up that it's failed and then it will restart the service so it'll be self-healing and it'll eventually connect and everything will carry on as we want so the last bit we need to put in here is install with capital I and then wanted by so this is the service that wants this and we just say that multi-user multi-user dot target and that's it so we do control and x y to save the buffer and there it is so what we need to do now is enable that service so if we type in sudo system ctl which is system control enable and then just the name of the service we've created which is youtube underscore counter that will enable the service and what it does in the background is it copies that file that we just created into the file that's going to be running this so that after after thing we created before that multi dash user after that's where it's actually copied it in the background now it isn't running at the moment if i go back over to node red we're not getting any data through yet the script isn't running yet 
we need to do one more thing first. We need to go back and do sudo system control and then start youtube underscore counter and now if we go over to our node red we'll start getting some data through every two seconds it just takes a couple of seconds for it to start up connect to the youtube api in this case and then it will start sending data through and we'll see that just appear just above my head here on the screen there we go so we're getting the messages through now every two seconds now if we want to stop that service for whatever reason if we go back over here we can simply just type stop if i type stop that will stop the script from running we're no longer getting any data through on our node red instance there's some other commands we can type such as restart so if the the script was running it will restart it it will stop and start it if it isn't running it will start it so that's what restart does and we can stop it once more and the other thing we can do is disable it so that does the opposite of enabling it it doesn't get rid of the service file but it stops it from running at all at startup so we can do disable and disable will essentially remove that file it copied from that uh, multi-user targets folder so if we want this to automatically start let's re-enable it and let's start it so that's now going to be sending data through go back over to our node red we can see some data coming through here just this is just an example you can do this with any python script you can see there now we're getting the data through and that means that it's running properly so if i now just pull the plug on this particular machine so if i go over to my um sense hat this is the one i'm actually running on if i pull the plug on this one you should see that this kind of goes gray in a second as it's no longer connected to it so you can see there now that the server has been disconnected it's re starting and in a couple of seconds time that vnc session will actually start up automatically because that's also a service that's got the on restart uh, functionality and we'll also see in our node red that we'll get some data through as well the vnc session is now starting up and i can also see in our node red that we're now getting data through if i just click on that little trash can there we can see the new messages are coming through being our script automatically started up when the raspberry pi booted now we can also do some other things if we go back over to our vnc session just let that uh, connect up we can check this service status and see what status it's in okay so i'm just going to start a terminal and we can have a look at the service status okay so if we type in the terminal here sudo system ctl for system control status and then the name of our service which is youtube underscore counter and it will tell us what the current status is there so we can see that it's loaded it's active um, the main PID is 505, which is a Python PID. We can see it's consuming seven seconds of CPU. It's got one task and it belongs to this uh, particular group here, the C group. Uh, and we can see that there's no problems there. So if there's any problems, if this disconnected or it couldn't connect to the MQTT service, uh, we will see some error messages in there, but it will attempt to restart the script until it successfully loads. Um, so it's self-healing. So I can now take this uh, data that's being sent to my MQTT service and I can uh, do something else with it. I can have Node-RED maybe write that out to a file or I can display it on my little scrolling display that I created recently. Uh, and that's one of the things I want to do. Just keep an eye on my subscriber count because it's the the vanity of metrics that matter isn't it after all so i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this i go live every single sunday at seven o'clock at uk local time so that's currently gmt plus one because we're in british summertime there are all the different time zones around the world so you probably know where you live you'll know what the difference in the offset is from gmt if you want to get more information about how to build robots which is the main focus of my channel that and raspberry pi stuff then check out smartsfan.com and also kevsrobots.com and you'll find all kinds of tutorials there and guides on how to build your own robots and all the code and tutorials that you need and if you want to help out the show you can either click on the super thanks button if you're watching on youtube if you're watching live you can also super chat and just send a, a special message and uh, that'll also support the show or you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash kevin mclear and buy me a coffee and that can also help pay for all the things that it takes to run a show like this so i hope you enjoyed this and i shall see you all next time bye for now